Hello, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a vintage Nikkor lens for Leica cameras. Stay tuned, I took this lens on my recent trip to Prague. It's the Nikkor 35mm f2.5 range finder mount lens. I'm going to show you sample photos, hopefully give you all the information you need to know. And I also used it on a workshop in London yesterday, so footage and sample photos of that coming up also. Hey guys, Matt here from MrLug.com. So if you saw my last video, I headed to Prague for some of my model photography and I was using the Lycra M10 and for some photos I was using this lens, the W Nikkor C 35mm f2.5. What can I tell you about this lens? It's a 1950s range finder mount lens with a 0.9m close focus distance, 6 elements in 4 groups and 8 aperture blades. This lens comes in various mounts included LTA mount and Nikon S mount like I'm using. Here are some sample photos using the lens wide open on my Leica M10 and I've just added one of my Mr Leica black and white presets. 35mm isn't my first choice of portraits but you can take really nice pictures as you can see from these few samples. I was also did some normal photos and there seemed to be trains everywhere in Prague so I was wandering around the stations doing some photos with the M10. These are raw sample photos, no editing and I love the almost model train set look from those few photos. Yesterday I was back in London to do one of my Mr Leica model photography workshops or Leica workshops, normally model photography with Leica cameras. And so I decided to take the 35mm nickel lens and this time use it with my Leica SL camera. So here you can see the setup and we had Bassia modelling for us. You know I love film so I was shooting film for myself with the Nikon FM3A and a 40mm f2 Voigtlander lens and I was using the Nikkor lens on the SL with the new Light Lens Lab close focus adapter which were re reviewed in a recent video. So here are some sample photos, this was just getting started more like behind the scenes photos. So we just got to the location and we were trying to work out the light and then I was helping the, the student with the lighting, posing and those kind of things, kind of showing what I would do in this room if I was kind of booking it for myself for the first time. Uh, Bassi was a great sport and did everything that we were asking in terms of posing and my crazy ideas. You might notice I've got my little LED light panel with me again. Uh, a few of you asked me about this in my last video. Check the link below to my kit list and you can see all the gear that I use. Lights, tripods, cameras, lenses, adapters, etc. etc. So all of these photos are shot with the Leica SL, the Light Lens Lab M to L adapter and Amodeo M to Nikon S adapter. And then the Nikon S mount W Nikkor 35 f 2.5 lens, if you can follow all that. <laughs> most, of these lens, most of these photos are shot wide open at f 2.5, maybe some at f 4. And I did some behind the scenes shots as you could see there also. This was our setup for some of the photos. So I asked Bastia to kind of look through the little hatch from the kitchen. And that gave really nice soft light from the front from the, the windows opposite. I let my student shoot from his angle, like the main angle, and then I shoot off axis from inside the kitchen basically to show like a different angle. And they can see the, the angle that he was shooting, like the main angle. Um, again, I had my little LED light panel behind as a kicker light just to give a nice bit of separation. This is the light I always travel with. Uh, I have got another LED light panel hopefully coming soon, which is probably slightly more powerful than this one. So stay tuned and I might do a video about that one soon. If you're new here, the way I shoot is I shoot everything in RAW and I just add one of my Mr. Leica presets in Lightroom and then export all the photos and send all photos to all models. If you want to get my presets, I can put links below. These few colour photos are shot with my latest M10 pack, the stylized colour um, preset. I find it a lot of fun. I tweaked it slightly for these photos to, to get the hopefully slight filmic look, but I really like it. If you'd love to get into model photography and just don't know where to start and you're not willing to wait for my model photography book hopefully out in the next month or so, check out my Patreon. Links below to lots of extra content and as always a huge shout out to my awesome patrons. Okay, so what else can I tell you about this lens? Let's get a bit more geeky and go through a few of the characteristics. So this lens will vignette similar to other 35mm lenses. In terms of sun stars, you can get sun stars if you stop down, but the lens does flare quite easily being single coated as you can see from some of these photos. And these real life sample pictures, they're not the best pictures, but you can see the flare in the right hand corner. And again, above the head in this photo. In terms of size, here you can see the lens next to the Light Lens Lab 35 f2.8 element and Voigtlander Ultron 35 f2. I use my new Intrepid 4x5 as a model for these close up photos for center sharpness. 
you can see all three lenses and center sharpness is pretty good on all three lenses no complaints for the nickel lens center sharpness of this lens is very good even at 2.5 but improved by f8 corner sharpness is very soft wide open but it does sharpen up a lot as you stop down here you can see a real life example if you do take a closer crop you'll see that the center is sharp but Basu is already blurred even though she's only in the mid zone of the photo in here if you look carefully in the leaves maybe pause the image you can see a bit of swirl going on in the photos here you can see the bokeh you can get bokeh but it's not quite the same as a bokeh monster such as the nocturne 75 1.5 <laughs> Once the model left, I went and kind of explored Prague and just ended up in the station like I normally do. I always find the light very uh, photogenic in stations when it's coming through between the beams and the train tracks and whatnot. So these raw, raw photos, no editing, all shot with the Leica M10. And I really like the colours and lack of contrast from the single coated Nikkor 35 2.5. Again, these are also raw photos, I quite like the colour matching. <laughs> and here you can see a view through the Leica M10 viewfinder. As I say, this lens is rangefinder coupled. Again, a few more colour examples, nice colours from this lens, no complaints at all, and a really nice size is like a walk around lens. Great fun to use, I just wish my like M10 didn't look quite so tatty. If you look carefully, when I normally hold my Leica M10, I put my thumb over the hole, which is the missing leatherette from buying the camera when I bought it. I got a cheap deal because of the damage. I now have a solution thanks to a guy called Henley who reached out to me who makes 3D printed currently like M cases but maybe soon other cases for other cameras too. So he goes by the name of Akara Labs if that's how I, if the correct way to say it and it's like a basically like a Wellington boot that fits to your M camera. It's really really minimal and really lightweight and so you, you don't feel like you've got it on but it protects both the bottom plate and you've got the added grip which is the the main reason I'm using it, well also and to hide the hide the mark on the front. Akara Labs kindly sent me a box of half cases for Leica cameras to test and to review and give feedback on. And from those I gave feedback and said which one I like the best. The way they're different to maybe more expensive, heavier, more luxury half cases is there's no like screw in. You just use the little plug and it pops into your tripod mount. So it's not a secure way to hold the camera, but he does make a version which has got a lug on one end, which would then make it slightly more secure. I wanted a copy without the lug and with the grip, so super minimal, but with the benefit of a grip for a bit more added support. I'm really happy with this and I highly recommend them. I'll put a link to Acara Labs below. This is not sponsored. I just thought I'd give them a bit of help and uh, share it with the Leica community for anybody else wanting an affordable half case for their Leica M camera. Thanks for watching and you might enjoy this video next.